All right, today we are going to learn lesson 1.1, 1 .1, um, the part that deals with multiplying multi-digit numbers, okay? Um, we're going to start by writing our learning target. Our learning target is just I can multiply multi-digit numbers. So we're just going to fill that in. Okay, so by the end of this video, you should be able to multiply multi-digit numbers. Make sure you write your name, class period, and the date up at the top as well. All right, so we're just going to hop into some examples. Our first example is going to be 63 times 28. Now, you're going to notice that we're using that little star symbol. In math, from now on, we don't really like to use that X, so we don't like to say 63 times 28. This is because we are going to be solving equations on later in the year and this X is going to be very confusing. Okay, so you could do 63 dot 28, 63 star 28, or 63 parentheses 28. Those are different ways that we can show multiplication. Um, for this section we're just going to use a star. Alright, our very first step when we're multiplying multi-digit numbers is to write them vertical. Right now they're written horizontal so we want to write them vertically. Okay, We have to line them up. So if I have 63, I stack my 28 on top. Okay, And when we line them vertically, we can use that x for multiplication. All right, so now we always start in that ones place. Okay, So we're going to take 8 and multiply it by each of those numbers on top. So we'll take 8 times 3. Well, 8 times 3 is 24. So I'm going to put my 4 down here, and I'm going to carry over my 2. Okay, so 24. My tens place number goes at the top, my ones place goes at the bottom. Now I move on to do 8 times 6. Well, 8 times 6 is 48. Then I have to add in my 2 from before. So we have 48, 49, 50. Since I have no more numbers to multiply, I don't carry that 5. I just write it down. So I have 5, 0. Okay. We're going to cross off this 2 since we already used it so that it does not get confusing to us later. All right, now we're going to move on to our 2. Okay, our 2 is in the tens place. So we just did 8 times 3, 8 times 6. When we move on to our 2, we're technically doing 20 times 3 and 20 times 6. Okay, but to make our life easier, we just want to use that 2. So we're just going to put that 0 down here as a placeholder because 20 times anything is just going to have a 0 on the end of it. Um, as opposed to 2 times anything. So we have to write our 0 placeholder, and then we can treat this as just a 2 instead of a 20. So we have 2 times 3, which is 6, and 2 times 6, which is 12. Okay, again, since I don't have any other numbers, I can just write that 12 down here. My last step, since I am out of digits on the bottom number, I just add them up. So 4 plus 0 is 4, 6 plus 0 is 6, 5 plus 2 is 7, and 1 plus nothing is just 1. Okay, then I just add in my comma, three spaces over, comma, and then we're done. Our answer is 1,764. All right, now we're going to do a little bit different type of example where we have a three-digit number times a two-digit number. All right, so we have 252. First step is to write it vertically up and down. And I'm going to line up that 17 towards, so my ones place is with my ones place, my tens place is with my tens place, and I don't have anything for my hundreds place, so I just leave it. Same exact idea. I'm going to start with that 7 in the ones place. So 7 times 2 is 14. I write my 4 down, and I carry my 1. I have 7 times 5, which is 35, plus that 1 which is 36. Now I don't write my 3 here because I still have one more digit to go, so I carry that 3. And I do 7 times 2, which is 14. 15, 16, 17. I'm out of digits, so I just keep my 17 here. Alright, now we're going to move on to that 1 in the tens place. Now we are technically doing 10 times 2, 10 times 5, and 10 times 2. But since it makes our life easier just to do 1 times 2, 1 times 5, and 1 times 2, we're going to put that 0 placeholder for that 10. Okay, so 1 times 2 is just 2. 5, 1 times 5 is 5, and 1 times 2 again is 2. Notice how I'm lining up 
those numbers so that I can just add right here later. 4 plus 0 is 4, 6 plus 2 is 8, 7 plus 5 is 12, carry the 1, 2 plus 1 is 3, plus 1 more is 4. I find out where my comma goes, and it's 4,284. All right, so now we are going to move on to a three-digit multiplied by another three-digit. Okay, it's going to be the exact same process. It's just going to take us a little longer. So my first step is always going to be the same. I'm going to stack them on top of each other vertically, making sure my ones place lines up, tens, and hundreds. All right, and again, I'm just going to start that ones place. So 4 times 6 is 24. So I write down my 4 and carry my 2. 4 times 1 is 4. 5, 6, cross off that since I used it. 4 times 7 is 28, and I don't have anything to add, and I'm out of numbers, so I write down my 28. All right, now I'm moving over to my tens place. Since this is technically a 20, we're going to write down our 0 so that we can just treat it as a 2. So 2 times 6 is 12. We're going to carry a 1. 2 times 1 is 2, plus 1 is 3. Notice how I'm lining up my numbers, and 2 times 7 is 14. All right. Now, normally in our other problems, we were done here because we only had a two-digit number, but we still have this 1, and this 1 is in the hundreds place. So this is technically treated as a 100, so we're doing 100 times 6, 100 times 1, 100 times 7. Since we can just treat this as a 1, there are two zeros in 100, so we just add those two zeros here, and then we can just multiply it as a 1. So 1 times 6 is 6. 1 times 1 is 1. And 1 times 7 is 7. Now that we are out of digits on that bottom number, we are just going to add. So 4 plus 0 plus 0 is 4. 6 plus 2 is 8. Plus 0 is 8. 8 plus 3 is 11. Plus 6 is 17. 4 plus 1 is 5. Plus 2 is 7, plus 1 is 8, and then 7 plus 1 is 8. All right, now we move over from the end, three spots to put a comma, and we have our answer of 88,784. All right, down below we have a word problem. A school lunch contains 12 chicken nuggets, 95 students buy the lunch. What is the total number of chicken nuggets served? Okay, so if one student buys the lunch, they get served 12. If two students buy the lunch, they get served 24 total. If three students buy the lunch, they get served 36 total because it's 12 for each student. So if there's 12 for each student and there's 95 students, this is going to be a multiplication problem of 95 times 12. So it's just going to be 12 plus 12 plus 12 plus 12, 95 times. And we don't want to have to do that 95 times, which is why we would use multiplication. Again, we are just going to solve starting with that 1. So 5 times 2 is 10. 2 times 9 is 18. Plus 1 is 19. Now we're going to move on over to that 1, which is technically a 10. So we have to put in that 0 placeholder. So 1 times 5 is 5. And 1 times 9 is is 9. Last step, since we are all out of digits, we are just going to add 0 plus 0 is 0. 9 plus 5 is 14. Carry that 1. 9 plus 1 is 10. Plus 1 is 11. 1, 2, 3. 1,140 chicken nuggets they would need. Alright. Now that we are done with all of our examples, you're going to want to go down to the bottom of your page and write a summary. Okay, the summary is going to tell us how do you multiply multi-digit numbers. Okay, so you want to answer that question in the summary. You want to give it in terms of if you were talking to like a friend. Okay, it doesn't have to be very long. It doesn't have to be super detailed, but just so you could read the summary and know what these notes were about. 